Hello everybody, welcome. My name is Jort and today I am going to be showing you an incredibly small design. Uh, this is inspired by a Clockwork Nerds design that I made for producing infinite amounts of power as well as substrate for all of your early mechanism power needs. Uh, so you might be here because you're getting sick of your lava generator, uh, you're finding you need a lot more power to produce and use some of the machines that you've got going on in your base and this is really just a tiny design that I made up it only takes up three by four blocks and then all the machinery parts of it and it's really quite efficient and it burns uh, quite efficiently gets you a lot of power for all of your early game so yeah I'm just going to briefly explain how it all works, uh, if you don't care about how it works and you just want to get to building this thing, then just look at the timestamp, skip ahead. Uh, but yeah, let's get this started. So here we have an electric pump, which is grabbing water from a source block right here. This uh, pump is powered and is sending water to a electrolytic separator, which is separating water into its two base components, hydrogen and oxygen. It's going into also a pressurized reaction chamber uh, it's taking water but it's grabbing the hydrogen from over here putting it into here and over here we've got a bin that is filled with carrots going into a crusher the carrots go into here and it creates biofuel the biofuel goes into the reaction chamber and when there's a time and space in the other machines it creates substrate and also a byproduct of ethylene which is that is the gas that we are producing and it is going to our gas burning generator and creating power right now I've just got it hooked up to a creative energy cube so it's just gonna keep on going infinitely as long as we have enough carrots <laughs> also this is a great way to produce uh, substrate because uh, eventually this is a bit more of a complicated machine here but you want to make these HDPE sheets and you make that out of substrate and yeah and these pellets and all that but I can do a tutorial for this if uh, you guys are interested as well so anyways let's get into how to build this thing first of all let's take a look at the materials that we're gonna need all right, so these are all fairly basic machines that you're not going to need a ton of resources to get in uh, your early playthrough of mechanism. Uh, first of all, you're going to need some pipes, some basic mechanical pipes, some basic universal cables, some basic logistical transporters. Just you only need a couple of each, like definitely less than 16 of each. I just put 16 in here. Um, uh, one bucket of water. It really helps if you have a configurator. You can also uh, do some of these things by hand, but not all of them. Uh, you're going to need an electric pump, a gas burning generator, an electrolytic separator, a crusher, a pressurized reaction chamber, and two bins, or you can use chests even. And also, you're going to need some carrots or seeds or some kind of organic material that you can turn into biofuel. All right, so what we're gonna do to build this thing is dig four blocks out, go to the third block, dig two blocks out that way, put some power cables on the bottom here, go to the second block here, shift right click your water bucket on, and we'll waterlog this pipe here. Uh, from there, we'll put our electric pump right there, grab our configurator, we're gonna wanna rotate that this way and connect it back this way, just like that. From there, uh, in this middle block here, we're gonna wanna put our pressurized reaction chamber. To the left of it will be our crusher, and to the right of it will be our electrolytic separator. And we're gonna wanna grab our mechanical pipes now, connect it to the pump, to the electrolytic separator, as well as the pressurized reaction chamber. From there, we can place a bin in the front of the reaction chamber, as well as one uh, block away in front of the crusher. We'll grab a logistical transporter, connect it to the crusher and this bin. We're gonna set our configurator to configurate items and disconnect it from this bin here. 
this is going to be our input bin where we'll put the carrots. From there, we're going to want to grab our gas burning generator. Come to the back side over here, place it just like that, and connect it with a power cable. And for things to look nice, I'll disconnect it from this one as well. So we're just about done here. We just need to go into the GUIs of the machine themselves and make sure that it's accepting the right inputs and outputs and stuff like that. So we'll go into the crusher first here and <coughs> we'll set eject to on and make sure our output is on the right. So this is good. From the pressurized reaction chamber for items, we want our input on the left, so this is good. We want auto eject on, and we also want an output to be on the front so that our items, uh, so that our substrate uh, goes into this bin in front of it. Uh, we'll go back into here. Our gases, we are going to want to eject to the back, and we're going to want to input from the right. On this one, we're going to go into gases and make sure your auto eject is on and output one is set to the left. So that is just about it. We're almost done here. All we need to do now is grab ourselves an energy cube and we just need to kickstart uh, this machine here, give it a little bit of power so that it can power itself. So we'll place a cube here, put some output. Gotta grab some power from it. And we can grab some carrots now. Got some carrots. Place it into the bin. And I forgot one thing. Grab that configurator again. And make sure it is pulling items. And things will begin to happen. The water is flowing into these machines. The carrots is going into the crusher. We'll see here. It's creating biofuel. Biofuel is going into the reaction chamber. The hydrogen is also going to the reaction chamber from over here. Oh, make sure we set this to dumping excess as well. Don't want to forget that. It is processing the biofuel, turning it into substrate, which is going into this bin. And it's also creating ethylene, which is going into this generator, which is powering the whole setup. So if we take this uh, energy cube out, this will continue to power the whole setup as well as produce more than enough ethylene to fill this whole thing up over time. As you can see with this one, I've got like the speed, all the speed upgrades going on and everything inside of here and it is completely full and it is struggling to fully power this one. This design is pretty great. It can also be scaled up a little bit. So I've got a bit more of a complicated system over here. It's crushing these carrots into biofuel and just chucking them all over the place and going into a bunch of generators. So you can take the same kind of idea and you could send it into its uh, a bigger battery storage like this one here into this induction matrix. But yeah, so I'm going to clear this up. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If there's something you'd like me to make a tutorial on, let me know. If you liked the video and it was helpful for you, then uh, leave a like, subscribe. Yeah, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Bye.